Good morning, Patriots. Welcome to Rex Pines TV. I'm Valencia Anderson. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for our school mission statement. We the Patriots achieve greatness through high expectations, passion, and perseverance. Thank you. You may now be seated. Today is Monday, May 9th, 2022. I hope you enjoyed your amazing weekend. Now let's start off the week with a relaxing brain break. Hi, and for today's brain break and SEL technique, we will be representing actions and consequences. Okay class, I'm going to assign you something on iReady. Make sure to get it done before we go out to recess. Hey, I really think you should be completing the work. Besides, it's pretty easy. Easy or not, it's boring. I'd rather play this game. Well, suit yourself. Okay, guys, time's up. Since everyone finished except Destiny, everyone will be able to play outside. But Destiny, you will have to finish your work what? outside. That's not fair at all. Yes, it is. Because you would rather play games instead of doing your work. Oh man. I mean, the teacher did give you enough time. You should have completed it. Yeah, yeah, you were right, I guess. As you can see, Destiny didn't want to complete her work and would rather play games. But when the teacher announced who was going to play at recess, Destiny was excluded. The message of this game is that your actions will have consequences, no matter what. Consequences are not always bad. Sometimes they're good. So make good choices and relax with us next time for our next Brain Break in SEL Technique. Now let's go to Word of the Day. Hey Destiny, you're outstanding at the debate today. Thanks. The key is to not falter when making your arguments. Oh, I should try that for my debate. I'll make sure not to hesitate when sharing my points. Yep, when you don't falter, it makes you look stronger and more put together. Thanks for the advice. It was very helpful. No problem. See you, See you tomorrow, tomorrow on Word of the Day. day. Now let's go to Scott for today's sports highlights. Thanks, Valencia. Sports fans, welcome back to Sports Equipment Origins. Once upon a time, there was a guy named Benjamin Franklin who loved to swim since he was a small boy. He invented the first swimming fins at the age of 11 back in the 1700s. He made oval wooden pallets that could be tied to the hands or feet to help swimmers move faster through the water. They were later made of rubber and plastic when they were reinvented. The French gave this creation a little twist from the inspiration of the webbed duck feet. This invention flops in the water, but not when it comes to being useful. Now let's go to Aiden to see what's cooking. Thank you, Scott. Today's lunch here is delectable. Today you'll be having cheese pizza, country blend vegetables, diced peaches, and your choice of milk. Don't forget to let your teacher know if you'll be receiving lunch today. Bon appetit. Now let's go back to Valencia. Thank you, Aiden. That sounds delicious. Scholars, tomorrow 3rd through 6th grade will be taking their math FSA. Get some rest and do your best. I wish you luck. The Pines Cheerleaders will be hosting Pines first every student versus staff limb sync battle this Thursday, May 19th. If you would like to accept the challenge of taking on one of our staff members in this event to remember, please see Ms. Stone in room 189 or ask your teacher to reach out. You must choose a school appropriate song and bring your own props. We look forward to seeing what the students of Pines can bring to the battle. And finally, don't worry math nerds, we have a day just for you. Today's math day. Still confused? Grades 3 through 8 will join us to solve that problem. Patriots, the hero store is open. Get there by 7.15 a.m. to avoid the lines. We'll see what the weather's going to look like today with Chanel. I hope it's not cloudy. Thank you, Valencia. Hey, Patriots. Today looks like we are expecting sunny skies with a temperature of 88 degrees Fahrenheit. Temperatures are starting to fall, so look forward to going outside. In other weather news, parts of the Rio Grande are going dry. There's barely a trickle in the Santa Elena Canyon. It's not uncommon for the river to dry up a bit in the spring, but this year, due to low rainfall over the winter and huge droughts, it's gotten worse. Until it rains, the flow of the Rio Grande will remain at a stop. Let's hope we see the rain soon. Now let's go to Angelie for the birthdays. Thank you, Chanel. Today's birthday girls are Julia Watson, Luis Angeli Rios, and Giovanna Lugo. 
Happy birthday! Now let's go back to Valencia. Thank you, Angelie, and I wish you a happy birthday, Patriots. Scholars, here are your pots expectations to represent. Present yourself positively, act kindly towards others, treat the school's environment respectfully, and succeed at everything. Now for last week's trivia winners, congrats to Ms. Stone, Ms. Ian Denkwa, Ms. Santori, and Ms. Onley. You all got the correct answer to Thursday's trivia question, which was, what is the largest type of deer? The correct answer is the moose. Teachers and scholars, here's today's trivia question. What is the lowest army rank of a U.S. soldier? Teachers, please send your answers to pines.renaissance at gmail.com before 10 a.m. in order for your response to be reviewed. Everyone at RBTV would like to wish you all a marvelous Monday. And don't forget, this year we are all about fundamentals and forward focus. Have a great day!